Hey everybody, welcome back to another Max Velocity Weather Forecast, and today what we're going over is the tropics. We currently have five areas to watch in the Atlantic Ocean, including one that's in the Caribbean Sea that may impact the United States, and it may develop into a hurricane or maybe even something beyond that. So we have a lot to get to in this forecast. I'm going to give you a breakdown on each individual system. Let's get right into it. Beginning with Hurricane Fiona, as of right now, this is a Category 4 hurricane in the Atlantic Ocean. Now, luckily, Luckily, it will not impact the United States, at least significantly. It will bring some rip currents to the East Coast over the next few days as it continues to track out to the North, which might be good for some surfers, but otherwise, it's going to be dangerous at the beaches. So try to avoid the beaches over the next several days. At least stay safe out there. This hurricane will continue to track out to the North and Northeast. Bermuda will be impacted, but not significantly. It should just stay off to the West of Bermuda, luckily, but obviously, it's going to be a close call. Uh, obviously, some impacts are going to be expected there. Tropical Storm Gaston is actually formed. This is now our seventh named storm of the year back up in the northeastern Atlantic Ocean. It is likely to kind of stay stationary over the next few days. It's actually forecasted to move back west uh, pretty soon. So we'll give you an idea on what that's going to do here in a moment. Back out to the east, we have another area of development, a 60% chance of developing right off the coast of Africa. It is not forecasted to go anywhere near the United States, luckily, but this will be going off to the north and most likely to the northeast eventually, probably going to stay near the Africa coast. Another Another little system that has a low chance of developing is currently centered over the central Atlantic Ocean. That has a 30% chance of developing over the next five days. More on that here in just a second. Also, the big system that has been talked about a lot recently is Invest 98L. This system is posing the greatest threat to the United States so far this hurricane season, as it is likely to enter into the Gulf of Mexico. From there, what's going to happen? I'll give you a bit more details on that here in just a moment, but this one has a 90% chance of developing over the next five days. All right, let's begin with Hurricane Fiona. You can see it's a Category 4 hurricane, and it is very well defined. A lot of convection with this system. Obviously, it is a very defined hurricane as of right now. It is not going to be getting to a Category 5 level, by the way. So, it will be stationed basically at a Category 4 level, and they'll start to drop off over the next 48 hours. Now, taking a look at its track, it will go towards Nova Scotia within the next two days. It's going to arrive there probably in about 48 hours from now. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that there could be some impacts to eastern Maine, and that would be due to the fact we'll likely have some damaging winds up to 50 to 60 miles per hour from the outer radius of this system. So just keep that in mind. Obviously, for those in Maine, you may see some isolated power outages if you're in eastern Maine. But beyond that, this is going to stay well to the east of the United States. It will eventually go off to the north and it will weaken as it passes over Nova Scotia, but it's going to most likely be historical to areas in Nova Scotia as still being a hurricane and eventually being a post tropical cyclone. Now let's go and take a look at Tropical Storm Gaston. This one is is currently out in the northeastern Atlantic Ocean. It actually looks like a pretty decent little tropical storm. Obviously, this will not really go towards any land at this point. And actually, surprisingly enough, it will impact a few islands, but it's not going to really impact a whole lot. Otherwise, it's going to eventually go off to the east. It's going to turn back to the west, though, pretty quickly going into early next week, and it will likely weaken down to a tropical depression. So it's a little system to watch. Obviously, no impacts to the United States expected with that one. Here's Invest 99L. This is the one in the central Atlantic Ocean with a 30% chance of developing a little amount of convection as of right now no organization by any means but it's going to be something to watch as it continues to track out to the west overall where is this going to head well long term it's kind of all over the place it's going to slowly move but it might go off to the west and if it does it might go towards the lesser Antilles. so maybe something to watch long term but otherwise there's a couple of computer models bringing it off to the north and northeast that would be something to also watch but obviously it will impact the united states if it goes off that direction but again we'll have to watch that one closely here's a look at the intensity as well computer Computer models are kind of split with this one. Some showing it won't become anything, while some actually show it gets to like a category one or two hurricane, which is again a low chance at this point, but it might be again something to watch long term. And here's the system that you've probably all been waiting for this entire forecast. It's Invest 98L. It's in the southeastern Caribbean Sea as of right now. It is very disorganized, and again, it's going to remain that way most likely over the next 24 hours, but eventually it'll start to move off to the northwest, and it will likely begin to strengthen over that untapped water in the the Caribbean as well as the really open waters here so this will be an area to watch over the next three days as it continues to track out to the northwest and as well as the west now from there where does this system go there's a lot of uncertainty as I mentioned before it could go as far east as areas maybe near the Bahamas it could go as far west as the Yucatan and Mexico so again there's no defined track of where this could head at this given time but we're going to be watching it closely because again it could make some impacts to the United States and the Gulf Coast and it might even be some significant impacts if it gets to that 
level. Here's a look at the intensity guide as of right now. A lot of computer models are keeping it at a tropical storm level or a category one level, with some with the exception of bringing it to a category two or three hurricane. But again, this is very early on. We could see this even stronger than that, uh, but obviously a lot of time between now and then. Here's a look at the computer models real quick. This is not a forecast. It's just to give you an idea of what the computer models are indicating, where this might head in the intensity. The GFS model has been all over the place. It began with the Florida area. Now it's tracking the system closer to Texas. So again, that's why there's just so much uncertainty with this as of right now. And eventually we'll make landfall sometime in very early October uh, near there. Then also here's the look at the European model. Kind of the same thing, but it goes a bit further to the east towards Florida. And this has been a bit more consistent with the European model sometime around late this month. So around the 28th, 29th. But again, too early to tell the exact track or intensity. There's a lot of factors in between now and then. But we will keep you updated on max velocity with the most honest forecasts here on YouTube. Make sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you've not already. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting and All Dense Repair.